That's a body twenty. We can measure. Sixteen incher. Here, hold them up. Hold them up. All right, so now we got to be careful with the cars. Come on. We made it. See how they have their little step ladder? They'll fish on the other side. They'll fish on the other side and the, the ladder get their feet wet. What's up, what's up? Welcome back out here with Christopher. We have a hey very guys. loud sound going on. We also have some wind, yeah. but uh, and I left my mic, or actually I left the adapter for my mic, but hey man, we are out here today doing a little flounder fishing. Brought Christopher out. He's kind of blocking the wind a little bit for me. Right. We're doing some flounder fishing, fishing with some gope. I have him tied on a her done rig. I have a single jig head for myself. And then we're gonna see if we can catch some flatties. The water is like really dirty, it's really windy. But um, hopefully, hopefully we'll catch a couple. You know, be worth the walk. And it's uh, season's closed, just catch and release, just out here having a good time. Uh -huh. And uh, see what's up. Yeah. We can fish all in here. I just wanted to walk down more. Uh, yeah, it's filthy. It's all silt. It's silty. Well, guys. That place stunk it up you know when yeah. you have the you have the wind coming straight down uh, the, uh, the little cut right there when you have the wind coming straight down it makes everything choppy it makes everything dirty and uh, and it's that it's real silty real dirty nothing's biting we did see some of the guys like post up over the little wall right there with their little step 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 ladder step stools and they posted up there and they were fishing and we seen them catching a few flounders so there's flounder out here they're just not um not cooperating not wanting to bite where we're at so we're gonna go and go over to the ferry landing and uh and see which i'm, I'm afraid it's gonna be kind of the same thing when we'll have the wind blown to our face so uh but i'm gonna hope and see and cr fingers crossed that the water is a little cleaner and the fish are more cooperative what do we have to just do? We had to take the what? Hmm? To come back to the truck, we had to take the what? The walk of... The, the walk of shame. Walk of shame back all the way back to the truck. But, you know, we fished for about an hour and a half, so... Um, yeah, didn't work. Uh, plan B. Mm -hmm. It was a little one. He was just popping and popping it. Yay, we don't get skunked today. We got a baby. It's a baby. But it's a flounder. Another baby. You see, he was at the, this could be like a small male or, or a small female. Because the males don't get that big. But he was literally right where the other one was at. So they, you know, they move in schools and they move in groups. Let me see if he's come back. I'm trying to entice him. Can't tell, huh? I feel like a bunch of small little guys. Here, put your hands out your pocket. Roll the, lower the rod tip, reel it, and set the hook for hard. Set it hard, straight up. Oh! <laughs> you told me to do it hard. My bad, bud. You killed him. No, oh, Daddy. You killed him. Little guy. <laughs> yeah, look at my look at my bird's nest. Look at my line. I'm oh my dad. god, you destroyed him. <laughs> look how small he is, he's a baby. Real. Bring him up. Hold up. Hold up. Step back. Step back. Oh, move out the way, Chris. You're supposed to step back so I can grab the grab the line. Chris, step back, bud. Look, step behind me. There you go, like that. That way I could get the have it next to me. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. That's a nice one. We can measure. 
So he is gonna be at 16, almost, yeah. yeah, 16 inches. About 16 incher. Here, hold him up. Hold him up. Hold it up, so you, you like you wanna put, there you go. You wanna put him in your face, so you can see him. Take her drop him. Go to the edge, put him in the water, like over the water, and then drop him. Shake it, swing it forward. There you go. There you go. Look how he swim. He swam all crazy. Just slow down. When you bump it and move, wait like two or three seconds. Then move, bump it and move. Wait like two or three seconds. Sit it down, sit it down, sit it down, sit it down, sit it down. Row down and it's such a hook. Real. It's a little guy. Swing it up, swing it up. Step. The little guy. <sighs> Alright, go back as you was. Yeah, you wanna go fish at the ferry landing? There's a little boy right there. Look at homeboy. Yeah, he's just chilling. A little friend. Oh, you're fighting the birds. Keep coming, keep coming. Come, extend your rod tip towards me. There you go. There you go. Good job, Chris. That's what they feel like. They feel like a hang-up. A lot of them will. They'll just get heavy. You don't ever feel the hit. You just feel how heavy they are. Awesome, buddy. I'm going to throw it back in. I'll measure it for you, though. Sixteen and a quarter. Getting bigger. Well, everybody, you know what that's going to do today. Came out with Christopher. Had a really good time. Chris, how about yourself? Mm -hmm. I had a good time. It was fun. You know, we really didn't catch the numbers that we wanted to, um, that we were that I was hoping for, at least like the sizes either. You know, I think Christopher got pulled in one or two that were like right at 16 inches, 16 mm -hmm. and a half. And, uh, and just pull some smaller ones out. Really no one was catching anything. Just right in that one little corner or on that one little side where we were fishing, we were catching them. That was another guy that was pulling like a couple little ones out too, but that was pretty much it. You know, it just thinks the water clarity and then the w low water um, conditions, you know, uh, the tides coming in throughout the day. So I think in about two hours, two and a half hours, we'll have high tide. So, yeah. um, I think that's when you're going to probably see most of that movement, those flounder that come back in and that tide change when the, the high tide and then as it moves to start coming back out, we'll kind of start seeing them. But, you know, the best time to fish for flounder is either right after a cold front or like maybe like the next day after a cold front. Yeah. But the closer you are to the cold front, the uh, the better uh, odds that you have. You know, flounder like that nasty, rainy, yucky weather and um, that's when they move through is when it gets like really cold and you get those nice big numbers. But, mm -hmm. you know, we just did catch and release at a good time yeah and uh you know christopher is working the lure a little bit practicing casting practicing getting hung up yeah multiple times on the same rock yeah but it's all good you know just come out here spend the day spend a little fun spend a little time hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you get out there on the water soon don't forget like comment subscribe share helps the channel out to a lot and uh what else christopher you got any parting words um uh yeah just please like and subscribe and um that's it and when it comes to flounder, you really have to set that hook. Oh, set yeah. that hook. And, uh, you know, they really, they didn't seem like they wanted white too much. It was like the darker colors because the water is real sandy. So pink. I'm sure if I would have had like New Penny or Root Beer, that probably would have been even more, even a better uh, better color to throw. Uh, I mean, we did see a couple get caught on white, but it's just one of those days. Kind of slow. Um, be afternoon bite probably. But hey, guys, thanks again. Hopefully next time you catch me, hook it up. Uh, also, uh, uh, Remember, type in the comments, I heart sea booger. Remember that. Sea booger? Yeah. I thought Remember, you were ocean, ocean shark. No, you are ocean shark. I'm sea booger. You are a booger.